Oh my gosh, Ganymede. Speaking of Greek mythology, have you met Medusa? Hole mole. <clears throat> Hello, sent siblings. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back. Or if it's your first time, just plain old welcome. I'm Yulia Graham, and this is sentsiblings.ca. The .ca refers to Canada, which is where I am and where I'm from. And the sense siblings refers to the fact that I am hoping to have at some point, uh, when I get better at this, a community of folks who are like-minded and want to talk about scent and who want to forgive me for the fact that my videos actually have very little scent content. They're usually just me talking, blah, blah, blah. So, welcome. I today am bringing you another teeth cutting video uh, about which I have thought long and hard on the hour 15 drive here and it's another scent of the day video because that's what I have um, because again I am learning how to do this and like I say I'm gonna make videos new video watches until I start making videos that somebody wants to watch if you want to watch, today's video is about the scent that I am wearing and why. Let's go this way. Here you are, scent sibling, and here I am to talk to you about my scent of the day. Today I am wearing, well, let me, let me drag this out. Let's, let's just do this. Uh, today is a beautiful spring-like day. It's, it's not below zero, which is amazing. Um, and so I have different fragrances for different things, as I said in a previous video. And this time of year, because of the temperature and what's going on, I would normally wear the one I wore yesterday. Um, but again, it's not just dependent upon the weather what I'm going to wear, it's also dependent on what I'm putting on my body. And so today, I am wearing... Um, a faux leather skirt, a mini skirt with a slit up the side. Why am I wearing such a thing to my classroom, you ask? Well, it's because I'm wearing a backless shirt. So what else was I going to wear but a tiny mini pleather skirt with a slit up to, what else was I gonna wear? So I'm wearing a faux leather product. And when I do that, I like to wear a scent that has a leather accord in it because what's life without a little whimsy? So today's scent is one uh, that has a beautiful, this is, I've never, <laughs> I don't normally smell the perfumes I'm talking about uh, consciously like this when I'm doing my YouTube videos, I don't know why. Yeah, all four of them that I've done. And um, this one to me, it, this one's called, should I tell you what it's called? Maybe I should tell you what it's called. It's called Ganymede by Marc-Antoine Barrois. Um, well, it's not by him. It's, that's the company. Guess who this is by? Guess. Guess the perfumer. Oh, let's play Guess the Perfumer. He, uh, let, let's see if you can guess. He makes, he is the nose behind some of the most fragrant, most famous, Look at my tongue tied. The most famous fragrances going around the community right now. He is responsible for the one that starts with a D. He's also responsible for the other one uh, that's getting all the hype right now that only has three notes. Can you guess who this is? Put a comment down below if you know who this is. Um, the perfume behind this is Quentin Biche, uh, who is also responsible for Delina, Delina Exclusive, Delina Rosé. Ganymede, Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle. Uh, sorry, I should, I should have mentioned that uh, Delina is by Parfum de Marly. So this is it, this is Ganymede. And you can see I only have this little sample and it's story time. It's always story time. Sent siblingstories.ca. So I am wearing um, a leather, a pleather, it's not leather. Uh, pleather skirt and so I like to have this uh, like I said I love ombre leather but um, when I came across this all hopes of uh, me getting my own bottle of ombre leather sort of left the building let's talk scent let's actually do a scent that's not a review it's my two cents uh -huh. see what I did there if we go to Fragrantica 
thank goodness for Fragrantica. Thank you to the people who make Fragrantica. Um, the notes in here that Quentin Beach beautifully put together include a mineral note, you'll see it on the screen, um, an ozonic note, an aquatic note, herbal, citrus, fruity, sweet, floral, warm, spicy, and green. And then they show you the pyramid, which is mineral notes, violet leaf, immortel, Italian mandarin, and Chinese on Smathis. And listen, I'm not a smart man, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. But I know what leather is. And this is leather. And for some reason on Fragrantica, that note doesn't show up. But if you go to the site, uh, etiquette, E T I K E T, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Um, there's an entire beautiful write-up about it. It says that it makes use of the suede leathery notes that made B683 a beautiful classic. I don't know B683, but I know this. So this one talks about those leather notes and the suede and how it's a luminous and fluid elegance. This is called Ganymede. Um, and it's by Quentin Biche. And I, if you know the myth of Ganymede, it's, it's very simple. Um, Ganymede was a beautiful boy, and Zeus in particular fancied him. Uh, and so Zeus uh, kidnapped him from the mortal world and brought him up to Olympus simply because he was so very, very beautiful. Uh, so that was one of the inspirations for the name of this scent. And then the other one, if you look on this etiquette, Right up is the fact that uh, Ganymede. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. The rocky satellite of Jupiter that was discovered in 1610 by Galileo, which is both luminous and covered with salt water oceans. So that's where those oceanic, uh, salty vibes come in. That's what this perfume is. It's it's got a little bit of everything, and it's it's beautiful. So those are the notes and some of sort of the words to describe it. Not very many people talk about this, and the folks that I've seen on YouTube, it's, they, it's men that gravitate toward this, but I don't see it. And in fact, when I went to etiquette that for, so story time. I went on to Etiquette to buy their 19, 2019 sample bestsellers because I had wanted, I'd heard all the reviews about Delina and had wanted to try it, but I didn't want to pay for the full bottle. And of course, Delina was my gateway niche fragrance. So I wanted to smell it before I could buy it. So I bought the 2019 favorites and it comes uh, in a little pouch with little samples, tiny little samples like this. And I'll, I'll link, again, I'll link at a kit below. I think it was something like $40 plus shipping to get this from this Canadian company. And the thing came, the package came, great customer service. Uh, and my husband and I sat out on the deck of a lovely summer's morning and we raided them all. And I, clearly I'm not a perfumer. I'm, I don't have any aspirations towards such a calling. I just... I know what I like. And so when we went through them, I had no idea what I was smelling for or doing, um, as, I, as I still don't. I just, I'm progressing. So I had no idea that such a thing as a, a nice fragrance existed. And so uh, in that particular little sample pack, I'll list all the ones that were below, but of honorable mention was the Delina, which I immediately bought a full bottle. Then there was a Leighton, which was also Parfum de Marly, um, which was, I. I was indifferent. And then the other honorable mention was Penhaligon's Helfetti, which at the time, I remember looking at my husband and him looking at me and going, how did this make it into a bestseller anything? I didn't understand it at the time, but I also did not understand this. So we rated them all, and this one I wrote six point, I don't know if you can see it, probably not. I wrote, I'll, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I wrote 6.5 out of 10. We both decided that this was for a woman. Both of us decided that. And I just wrote the word leather underneath. And that's all I got. And then I left it. 
And I walked away from it because I was so enamored with Delina. And then the whole thing started, and that's when all the money went away. <laughs> um, so fast forward, and I'm looking for a scent to wear to bed. And I'm sniffing through all of my etiquette samples. And I'm like, oh, this does something to me. I'm sorry. So I'm uh, sniffing through my stuff. And um, I come across this. And... I put it on and I realized that this smelled better to me than it did when I got it, but it smelled better to me than almost anything I'd ever smelled. And I kept smelling it all night. In the morning, I could still smell it. It was amazing. So I decided to wear it one day to work when I was wearing my leather pants. This is still that same story. <sighs> Who would wear this? I anyone could wear this a man a woman it's I think it's perfectly unisex but to me it leans feminine to me to me this is an office scent because it is absolutely noticeable it is absolutely something that people will smell on you but it doesn't fill a room it's not like Baccarat Rouge 540 when you walk into a room and it precedes you and then it leaves a trail this stays with you, but in a way that anyone that's in your general proximity is going to be like, what does that smell? And you'll be like, yeah, that's me. It's leather. Mm, I get a boozy. <laughs> yeah, it does something to me. So I would say that anyone could wear this, that this is an office scent, a work scent for me. Um, and then, especially if you're going out after. The first time I wore this, and I want to tell you something. This comes with one of those little sticks. And good thing, too, because if you put more of this on, it still wouldn't be offensive. But this is the strongest, other than Helfetti by Penhaligans, this is the longest lasting, most tenacious, most amazingly st staying power also not a word or a phrase in English it's amazing and so I just before I walked into our local watering hole after work and because I drive you know I drive an hour and 15 right I get to our local watering hole and I take the stick and I do this and this and this and this and I walked into the local watering hole where my friend Jenny and Ted and Ryan and Nat Nat thank you so much for your support all of you oh my goodness thank you for being my real siblings and my son siblings everybody commented on it. So is this a compliment getting crowd pleaser? Yes, yes it is. They were enamored instantly as was I. So I would say this would be a wonderful scent to wear to work because it's not offensive. It's not strong. It's present. It's clearly present and beautiful but not at all offensive and not at all in your face. It's soft. I've had this on for two hours already, and it's not going anywhere. It's absolutely beautiful. And because it's not available on any of the wonderful websites we all go to, Fragrance Buy, um, Perfume Online, Fragrance Net, um, I did see it on Lucky Scents, but it's one of those things where um, you're not going to run out and get it. It retails at 200 $30 for 100 mil, 225 for 100 mil. So it's not like you're going to run out and get it on my recommendation, but it is my scent of the day. It does bring up a lot of stories. I do love it, and I am getting a full bottle of it. I think that's the end of this scent of the day video. Again, I'm not here to ask you to do anything, uh, to buy it to do all those things. I'm just telling you that this is one of the best things I've ever had my nose on. And I will just thank you again and again and again for being my scent sibling and for letting me practice. Um, these videos aren't meant to watch, but they're really good practice for me to do. So thank you. Thank you. And I guess we will see you in the next one. Thank you, scent siblings. I'm Yulia Graham, and this is scentsiblings.ca. Cheers. I don't remember how to stop this. Cheers.